Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn an image into black and white on Canva super easily and also if you want to see how to create this particular planner there's a link in the description below. Now let's go to Canva and let's create a new image. So I'm just going to choose, I don't know, this one and we're going to change this puppy into black and white. One of the ways is to go to edit image and then decrease the saturation and you can also pump up the contrast because usually that looks really good for black and white images. Maybe add a little bit of clarity and then also maybe remove the, make it a little darker or a little lighter depending on what kind of look you're looking for. You could also go for a more faded look. In that case, we're going to decrease the clarity and we're going to decrease the contrast and we can brighten it up a bit or make it a little darker so that way it's more faded now you can also do this really easily with a template so you're gonna go to design and just type in black and white and then just choose one image that you like let's say this one now click on it and click edit image and you're gonna see that that saturation is already set one of the things you could do is go to the filter code and just copy it and paste it on your image. So let's say I'm going to add another puppy, which is this one. And then I'm going to edit the image, go to see all and put a filter here. And voila, you have a black and white image over here. And that's that. Another thing you could do is you could remove these elements over here. Okay. I always remove the girl. Let's lock the girl. And then I'm going to select all the elements Then I'm going to unlock her. Uh, did I? No. Okay. And then I'm going to zoom her in so it fits. And now if I drag and drop an image here, it automatically turns into black or white. And you can actually change it not only to black or white, but you could look for, for example, faded or some kind of style that you like. And if there's a photo that's been edited, not always, but sometimes they are, if you click here and if you edit the image, you can see that the adjustments have been changed. So I can again copy the filter and then go to the image that I like, maybe this one, click edit image and then add a filter. So it's more moody. You can always reset so it's back to normal or you can always go back to a filter. I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching.